for safe, cheap, and instant delivery on Ultimate Team Coins. Head on over to FIFACoinsZone.com and use Dirty at checkout for that extra discount and wait just a moment. G2A.com has all the games and the codes and Dirty will also hook it up. What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and today we've got the top 50 FIFA 16 Ultimate Team players and I want to discuss the biggest improvements and then also some of the letdowns, the disappointments. If you enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up. Also, get ready to open up some discussion in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who do you feel really got a big jolt in terms of FIFA value and other players that took a big step down? Quick side note in terms of criteria for improvements, I'm looking at guys that I'm excited to use in Ultimate Team. I think their card has drastically been improved or something has changed. And then for disappointments, maybe I feel that the rating is a little bit off or the player just does not have that much value in FIFA Ultimate Team. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This card is fire. Ooh. Oliver will be the best fullback. In FIFA 16, I can say it once, twice, three times. My opinion will not change. We can keep that one on repeat. He just looks like perfection on paper. Terry Kane sliding in. Vantage play. Can't run, can't shoot, can't pass, can't dribble. And he will definitely slide into your girl's DMs without a second look. Terry Kane sliding in. Not a lot of options in this league. Ah! So I'm happy to see Moeller get a position switch and it's gonna make a big difference for his usability in FIFA. This card's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the morning. It's never going bad, it's a classic. And we all predicted the upgrade with Paul Pogba, the informs, even the improvements on his regular card. But he's faster, he's stronger, he's more technical than the majority of players in FIFA. This is going to be a player that's a must have, a must own, a difference maker in every single match. Oh, ah, ah. Barcelona fans are not going to like me, but Busquets is a, a discard. What value does he have in my club? He's never going to be an 86 that I look forward to packing or putting into the starting 11. Maybe he'll change my mind. I understand he plays well in real life. I've watched him do his thing. I don't like how it corresponds in FIFA. Discard. Oh, Yunuzovic has found Kevin De Bruyne here. De Bruyne! That is absolutely marvelous. KDB! He's going to tear it up. He's in the BPL now. Congratulations. You deserve the upgrade. Five-star, weekly, four-star skill moves. Believe in the roasting and toasting sessions. Believe it. Wasn't a fan of Lewandowski last year, and this year he might even get worse. He's not even going to be name brand Gatorade. Got a downgrade in skill moves, and his work rates went from high medium to medium medium. This could be a very disappointing card. I'm kind of interested in trying him out as a center attacking mid. He might fit there better than the striker position, but we will all find out together. <laughs> this is the best center back we've seen on the countdown uh, for my interest level. I don't know who he has contacts with at EA, but this card has been upgraded. And I mean, it's been upgraded. I know Juventus had a lovely season. They had the big showing in the Champions League, but damn. If you hybrided Boateng with Chiellini and you got Alaba on the back four, whoa. You're just not going to concede goal. He's going to dictate what happens and when it happens. And this card is still going to be gross. He deserved the upgrade. 87 overall. Balotelli, Aguero! Aguero should be higher rated. Point blank period. That's how I feel. And I wish his work rates were still high low, but we're just going to keep it moving. Big debate. We've got Neymar and we've got Hazard and I just feel that they should be equally rated or even having Neymar as a higher rated player seems more natural to me, more organic, more genuine. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Maybe that compare and contrast, maybe I'm biased. I love skilling. We got the five star weak foot with Neymar as well. Maybe I'm biased. Let me know what you think based on the real life to going over into FIFA, but I think they should be at least even, if not even having Neymar a tad bit better in terms of rating. Food for thought. If you go down this countdown, the majority of players had pace reduction, which is scary because it leaves room for more overpowered, low-rated players to be able to surpass the star 